Hi everyone! Today we're going to make a project to explain how to create a real gravity effect in Scratch. So if you are ready, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to paint a sprite, which is going to be the ground. So let's take the square or the rectangle. Let's center it. No outline. And let's take another color, for example, green. Let's place it correctly. And now, uh, well, I'm going to name them. This is going to be the ground. This is going to be our character. So uh, let's begin creating a variable, which is going to be Y velocity. So the velocity in the vertical axis, the vertical speed. Our character, uh, when green flag clicked, um, forever, is gonna do the following. And there's something we have to understand. Um, if the character is touching the ground, is on the ground, the y velocity is zero, because there's no movement in the vertical axis. However, if our character is not touching the ground, it's in the air, the y velocity is not zero, uh, actually is increasing, okay? The longer it's falling, the greater y velocity is. So we're going to translate this here into, into scratch. First of all, uh, if touching ground, we're going to set y velocity to zero. If we're not, touching ground, we're going to be changing y velocity by 1. As this is inside a loop, y velocity is going to be increasing more and more. Uh, look, if I'm not touching the ground and I uh, press green flag, y velocity increases very fast. When the program is complete, this won't increase so fast. However, let me put that when green flag clicked, set y velocity to 0. You see that now it doesn't increase because I'm touching the ground. Uh, so how do we make it fall? All right, we have to change uh, here. We have to change y, our y position, by y velocity, which means that if I'm touching the ground, I'm setting y velocity to zero, y velocity is not changing, so we are changing y by zero, so we're not moving in the vertical axis. However, if my cat is here, when I press green flag, this is going to increase y velocity. So our cat is going to be falling faster and faster. Well, actually, this is not going to be falling. Look, it goes up. Why does it go up? Because we're changing y velocity by one. If we want the cat to go down, we have to change y velocity by negative one. Let's try now. Now it works. So we have created the oops, we have created the gravity effect. But as you see, sometimes our cat goes down a little bit more. If we want it to uh, stay there, we have to do the following. In my blocks, I'm gonna make a block which is gonna be like a replace, for example, and we're going to run this without screen refresh. So what are we gonna do? Uh, we're going to change y, we're going to move the cat upwards one by one, as it's going to be done instantly, we're not going to be the movement, and we're going to be moving up until we are not touching the ground. So, repeat until not touching ground. When are we going to repl replace it? Well, for the moment, let's put it uh, here. So, if touching the ground, set y velocity to zero and replace. Uh, now we'll see there is a mistake. Do you see this kind of vibration? Well, we can solve that just by doing this. This has to be negative. And now if I repeat it, that doesn't happen, but I don't know if you can perceive it, but it bounces a little bit. To remove that kind of bounce, we're going to put this 
somewhere else. It has to be here, but we're only going to replace the cut if we're touching the ground. So now it works. All right, so uh, the gravity is created, but now we have to make our cat jump. When are we going to jump? We're going to jump whenever we press uh, key up a row. If I put it here, uh, no, not there. Wait a second. If I put it here, and what we have to do is uh, set y velocity by a positive number, for example, uh, could be 12. Okay, if I put it here, look, it works, it looks like I've done it and I'm finished, uh, but I'm not. Because if I press several times, I have double jump, triple jump, and whatever I want. It obviously, it doesn't make sense, at least in this type of program. So, we should only jump when we are touching the ground, because we have some kind of support. So, let's take it out, and we're going to place this block when we are touching the ground. So, now I can only jump once, okay? So, what else? Uh, I need to move the cat right and left, so that's quite simple. If I'm uh, pressing this key, right arrow, and if I'm pressing left arrow, in the case of right arrow, I'm going to change X, so the horizontal axis, okay, the horizontal movement, uh, by 10, and with left arrow press by negative 10, and we'll put it here. This works. As you see, when I move left, the cut uh, doesn't point in the right direction. So, when going right, point in that direction. When going uh, left, point in the opposite direction. But still, I have to, to do one more thing. Okay. So, it's here in the rotation, rotation style, left, right. And this way, this works perfectly. Obviously, you can vary the y velocity, you can vary the power of the gravity, which is this. And also, we are going to do this to try to what extent this program works. So, I'm gonna put here a slope and here, like a, a block, which is above. And let's see. I can get on it, I can uh, go up the slope, so this is quite good. There are some errors that we, we should fix, some bugs, for example, if I move left, when I'm there, it automatically jumps, well, it doesn't jump, it like climbs this. Why? Because there is a program here, the one that we have made before, that says that if we're touching the ground, we want to replace. Okay, we want to move up until we are not touching the ground. So, this happens here. But anyway, this is quite good, it works. In other videos on how to make a platformer, we will solve this problem. We'll try to make it as perfect as possible. So, I hope you liked it, you enjoyed it, you find it useful. And see you next time. Bye-bye!